How we doing, Chiefs Kingdom? Welcome back to another episode of The Kingdom Says. I am your host, as always, Garrett Williams. Today, we've got a special little short on YouTube for you guys. We've got Kyle Henning, my usual co-host here, of course. And we've got the artist chief, Corey Jones. Corey, how are we doing today, sir? I'm doing great. It's Super Bowl week. Let's go. Big week. It is a big week. So we're here to check in with Corey, one of the uh, kind of the starter, actually, of this whole Artist Kingdom uh, series that we've got going on here on the Kingdom Says podcast. Uh-huh. We've been doing it for almost, what, two years now. We've had these, uh, these artists coming on, and Corey was the start of that. So happy to have you on once again on the YouTube, finally. It's, uh, it's a big week, so we had to Don't get you on here. Don't it, Garrett. He's... A good portion of the reason that the Artist Kingdom series has been able to work the way it has, because he made a lot of the oh, yeah. introductions that took place took place at the event we went to for the opener last, or the weekend of the opener last year. That was an awesome event. That was great. Um, but with all that said, Corey, um, we wanted to do a check in with you. This is our we're we're now on the good old YouTube where you spend your time with your show when you do your episodes from there here and there. So we thought we'd check in. Uh, where are you at? Works in progress. I know I saw. Matter of fact, we tweeted, I think while we were recording yesterday, as a matter of fact, a uh, work in progress tweet from you yesterday of, I believe that's the, is that the Tampa pass? It's the no-look pass against the Broncos. The Broncos uh, no-look. A little flick to, to McKinnon. The McKinnon ah. pass, yeah. Yes. Where he goes over his head. Mm-hmm. He just, okay. He's like looking one way and he just goes, whoop. So besides that, what all are you working on and what all you got coming on the pipe? And I know that with Super Bowls and stuff, this is your guys' kind of heyday time. AFC title games, Super Bowls, all the different a lot of, a lot of moments. and moments and areas and images. What's it What's it looking like right now for you guys? How are you feeling? Are you ready for everything that comes with this portion of the year? I'm ready for everything that comes with this portion of the year for sure. Um I just, like I said, I'm working on the Jet McKinnon pass. Um, I got a couple that I need to go back to work on. I have one of Justin Reed kicking um, in Arizona, no less, um, from earlier in the season, week one. I saw that live. um, But beyond that, I'm really just kind of slowing down on this painting because I want to have something to do constantly. And I know that when the Chiefs win this weekend, I'm going to be very busy because – I'd like to do exactly what I did last year with different themes, of course, and different characters. But I definitely want to do a three by four foot uh, canvas of, with with whoever the star players are during the game, um, and you know have the big champions logo on it. I mean, I'm not trying to jinx it. Just if it happens. Knock on wood. Um, if you guys haven't seen some of his stuff or have missed out somehow, go over to the website. There's you can multiple. see something in the background right there. It's, it's right on the top. Go to his Twitter profile. There's some stuff behind him, but go to his Twitter profile. Right in the top of the profile there, there is a bio or a link right there. His Twitter profile, if you're on the YouTube, which you have to be to be hearing this, it's it's right there at the bottom of the screen. That's the same handle. Put that in, go to his page, pull up the shop. Now, on that page, you're going to find a print of Travis Kelsey, I believe, uh, that that you have decided to be kind enough to partner with us and give this away along with a box of his cereal. So talk to me about the painting from, or the the print of Travis. um, And when you decided to go do that and do that painting, and then a little bit more about the actual, um, just given the details on the contest and, and this, and what's going on. Okay. um, You know, like you said, it's an 11 by 14 print of a painting I did of Travis Kelsey. Um, You know, he's doing his, one of his iconic shots, you know, the arrow. Um, I've been stocking up on Kelsey Crunch just so I could do a giveaway. Uh, It's hard for me just to have people say, hey, can you ship me a box of Kelsey Crunch? I'll pay you whatever. And then I I just don't want to mess with all that. I just, but I'd like to help uh, those folks out there that don't necessarily have a high V. Um, I don't really remember exactly what inspired me other than just Kelsey's awesome. I thought it was an iconic shot. I wanted to do something similar to, um, another artist, uh, Chris Chancy, who's an amazing artist. Um, you know, he has his own, a different is, is a part of the series. Yeah. He, he had a different one with Kelsey and it's more like straight up. And I just wanted to do something a little different, but, a, but a really cool shot of Kelsey for that one. So. 
Yeah, so that's right a great now, print, Garrett, and we're very happy to. Where they can get the contest details. Yeah, so if you go it. over to our Twitter at Kingdom Says Pod, it should be the pinned tweet up there. All you gotta do the contest, retweet that tweet, follow us at Kingdom Says Pod, and then follow Corey at Corey04 on Twitter, and you will be automatically entered. The giveaway ends the night of the Super Bowl, so that'll be fun. We'll have a, a very fun Victory Monday. Uh, someone will be getting a great print, but yeah, just head on over there. Give it a enter, share with your friends, let everybody know, because, yeah, it's an awesome giveaway, and you can get a sick print and then, you know, a, an actual novelty item in the, in that Kelsey Crunch. That's going to be that's going to be worth big bucks one day. When you're, when you're not in exactly. Kansas, it's going to be hard to find. Food. Exactly. So, Corey, obviously Super Bowl week here, there's a lot of storylines to talk about, right? There yeah. is the Kelsey Bowl, obviously. There's the Andy Reid Bowl, all these different things. You have a particular storyline that you shared with us that you would like to elaborate on further here. Let us know, what do we got? What's the big storyline for you in this Super Bowl? Okay, so this is the shout-out to our rivals, Broncos country and Ray. And anybody knows that when you debate with these people on Twitter and you get into an argument, and the, the final line of defense for Broncos and, and uh, Raiders fans is, well, we have three rings and y'all got one, although we have two. They just forget that we have two. So so for me, the Chiefs really need to win this game so we can put that to you know, put that uh crap to bed. Uh it's just ridiculous, you know. I mean, the Chiefs have been beating the Broncos since Obama was in office and the iPhone six came out. Uh fifteen straight times. <laughs> fifteen times. And yet these people can still be like, Oh, we got three rings. I mean they were, I mean, the last one was like 17 years apart from the other one. And, and the Raiders, what do they have to brag about? Absolutely nothing. I don't get it. Their last win was like when I was in like sixth grade and I'm an old man. Or not sixth, uh, not sixth grade, excuse me, when I was six. <laughs> like when I was in okay. kindergarten. They, so uh... It's just ridiculous to hear this nonsense from these people. I mean, you know, they'd say to us, well, you haven't won in 50 years and you, you finally did, but like, what about Raider Nation? You all are about to get on this 50 year cycle of losing. Like you're, they've you're, they've you're almost there. Like you're 21 there. in a hurry. They haven't made the playoffs in 21 years now. Or they haven't, haven't, made, haven't made a title game, haven't made a Super Bowl in 21 years now. So they haven't won a single meaningful game since then. That was it. Yeah. Not a single that's, playoff. Uh, game. That's something they that... in their mouths every single year. It's, it's nonsense. It's time to stop. And well, then. The- absolutely nothing to say even though they're all delusion it helps that this is stuff that matters though for for legacy stuff when it comes to mahomes and things like that because you're talking about taking the franchise and and be surpassing your division rivals in their historic marks also because remember elway won them two and peyton won them what two in denver one in denver one in Denver. One, he only so, has yeah, two total. Yeah, so Elway won them two, and and that those two came back to back, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. So you know they did it all in a hurry. Well, great, that's awesome. Now let's see how many are going to be Hall of Fame quarterback can put up. So that's a big deal. That that adds to that. It also continues to make the Raiders or make the Broncos mad. I guess they can, you know, continue to be mad about us yeah, running all plays the- against other teams. All the cute little clips that come, were coming out from the Broncos, like Sean Payton's press conference where he's saying, oh, yeah, I don't want the Chiefs to win. They're obviously automatically a rival. Like, bro, you haven't even been in the building for like a week. Like, there's no rivalry between you and the Chiefs. Come on now. And That's... also, you're boys with Andy Reid, but all right. Exactly. Like, what are we trying to do here? I mean, like... it's not like Andy Reid hasn't exactly owned him, which he has. Well, yeah. I mean, Andy Reid owns everybody, but it's just. Sean Payton, like, never. Yeah, it's just cute that everyone, I mean, the Chiefs kind of live rent free in, in the Broncos and the Raiders' mind. Like, they just, there's that's their only goal. And that's like, you know, obviously when the Raiders beat us a couple years ago and did the victory lap in the regular season, that was their Super Bowl. Like, that's their, the big accomplishment for these teams, the, our rivals are beating the Chiefs once. And obviously the Broncos haven't done that, done that 15 <laughs> straight times. Done that when since they were, I was in- Exactly. Um, If they inevitably do, you know, that's going to be like the biggest game for them ever. And it's like, hey, guys, this is the regular season. We play in we play in the postseason. This is when we play football. I know you guys aren't too familiar with it, but the Chiefs, (laughs) the Chiefs actually play in the postseason. Like they actually make it rounds, obviously five straight AFC championship games. 
we're not really concerned about regular season wins and losses like that. So maybe they'll learn one day. But yeah, once we get another another ring to add to that collection, they're gonna be running out of uh, they're gonna be running out of excuses real quick. And then I and then I don't want to hear anything about John Elway anymore. I mean. Uh. It's please, always something please refer to other, the Wilbur other, Lawyer's tweet yes, thread you know, they about disproved, <laughs> They disproved his talent level, and yet he's got two rings. Mahomes' stats are almost, are, are in some categories, are better than him through, what, five years compared to his, what, 12-year run? Mahomes so has done that to a lot of quarterbacks. Coincidentally. Never want to hear John Elway's name again. Yeah, I'm tired of hearing John Elway. He's, I mean... He's one of the worst GMs in, I mean, Broncos history. Like, think yeah. about it. He's like, like he's done nothing but, he's not, but fail he's not that franchise. Praise for his GM work, especially exactly. He's been no, he's done nothing but fail that franchise oh. ever since he retired. But, yeah. With that said, one more time, where do we find the contest? Where do we find your stuff, Corey? And where do we find anything that we need to know to follow you, get a hold of your work, and get a hold of anything else you're working on? Okay. Uh, my primary place is on Twitter uh, at Corio Four. It's it's my nickname used to be Corio, you know, like Mario. Corio. So I just added the four. Um, you know, my website is fineartamerica.com. Then you search for my name, but the link is in my bio on Twitter. You can find it right there. Um, I'm also on Instagram as Corionist. I think it's all lo- lowercase, C-O-R-E-Y-O-N-E-S-S, kind of like your highness. I don't know. Silly name. Um, but, yeah, that's where you can find me, and the contest is obviously um, – I retweet it all the time. I've been retweeting it every couple of days, so you can probably just find it on my Twitter. Um, but it's under uh, at Kingdom Says the podcast. Uh, it's the, their pin tweet, I believe. Correct. Yep. Yep. Yeah, and that's where the contest is. And uh, what? When are we giving it away? Halftime or the night? Uh, or? no, we'll be we'll be taking care of that after the game, I believe. So. I say we might be a little too uh, inebriated Sunday. Halftime may be a little uh, busy. It may be a little. We busy. might be a little. Yeah. We'll have to do, we'll deal with that Monday morning. One more question, Corey. Obviously, the draft is coming up uh, in Kansas City this year. We got anything planned yet? We got any events, any meetups, anything like that going? I was going to say, I don't know if it's going to be around the draft necessarily, but I would like to have another meetup with all you guys and everybody. Yeah, that was a great time. Um, so, yeah, there's a possibility it might be around the draft. Things are still – Something to think about. Figured out and all that kind of good stuff. I, yeah. I'm looking forward to it for sure. But I say – Cause I might, I don't know. I, I might, might be, I, I might be out there. You might see some other familiar faces out I, I, there. I, I might, you know. I, I might definitely be out there for the draft. I'll be there for the draft regardless. So, so just me. some, they just floating it out there, you know. I know. I got think about super hype for the draft. His name is Arrowhead Dom. Yeah, he's. Oh uh, yeah. He's actually, I think, currently busy doing something in regards to that right now, which is why he is not currently with us at the okay. moment. So. He uh, he said he would like to apologize for being unable to attend, but that uh, he would he would get us he'd get with you next time because we will have you Duty back calls. on again. So thank okay. you again for coming on, and uh, we will uh, we will talk to you guys next time, Garrett. Um, do we yeah, have... be sure to follow all of our socials, of course, at Kingdom Says Pod, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We got one more piece of content coming out before this uh, this week ends here. Stay tuned for that, and obviously we got the Super Bowl and. Everything that will come with that. Enjoy it, Chiefs Kingdom. It'll be a good run. Enjoy this week. Don't be too nervous because uh, we are, like I said in the podcast, we are living in the golden age of Chiefs football. So we have to appreciate these times while we can. So thank you all so much for tuning in, rocking with us. Corey, thank you for coming on and talking with us today. We will see you all in the next one. Peace. <laughs>